There are some directors who will always be remembered for changing the tide of Indian cinema and one of them is Shankar. From Hindustani to Nayak, from Aparichit to Shivaji, from Robo to 2.0, he has time and again reinvented the format of storytelling in Indian cinema. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Shankar sir. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shankar sir. The trailer looks spectacular and on the big screen it looks even like a true blue cinematic experience and thank you for treating us with such films over the years. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Such a lovely audience. <laughs> oh, everyone is cheering. It's so encouraging. Thank you. I think that's what cinema is. The collective cheers and yeah. the laughters. Yeah. So it has been 28 years since Hindustani released. What took you so long to make Hindustani 2? I remember Hindustani ended with the promise of Senapati's return, where he goes and calls and says, whenever there is injustice, I'll be back. What took you 28 years? Yeah, see, after that movie, I I did other few movies. And uh, when I'm looking for my next script, no, like I, I'll be going through the newspapers and uh, and TV channels and all. So I'm seeing the same news, like uh, the bribe is everywhere. In everyday newspaper, it's coming. Yeah. So I was thinking like, you no, know, if that Hindustani comes now, how it looks. Yeah. But the feel is there, but I'm not able to crack a story out of it because already we told everything in the part one. So I was doing another movie and after two movies, again, when I go through the newspapers, the same news, the bribe is everywhere, you know, it has not changed and all. So then I thought I should do the part two again. But again, it took a lot of time for me to come up with a story because it took a lot of time for me to, uh, what not to do. Okay. Because uh, everybody knows what he does and what kind of person he is. Yeah. And uh, finally, you know, and after 2.0, I got a... Uh, theme and I developed it and that's what this part two, part two is. Yeah. But is it challenging to write a part two for a film which is as loved as Hindustani? Of course it's challenging than any new subject because uh, any movie before any movie audience don't know anything about it. So when they see the theatres only they know what kind of film and what kind of characters and what is the theme and all. But this film, no, like everybody knows everything. So all the secrets are open. Yeah. So it's, it's a double challenging to do a sequel. But sir, over the last three decades, how has the character of Senapati evolved in your mind? Because a lot has changed in the world. Back in 96, there was no digital India. Now it is completely, everything is digital. I think that's a subject which you are also tackling. The digital media brings Senapati back in, in, in Hindustani too. How according to you has Senapati evolved? See, Senapati is, um, is inside everybody. Every common man, there is a Senapati. Uh, everybody is angry about something and uh, everybody wants something to, ch to be changed. So, everybody have, no, I, as I told, that only took a shape of the Senapati character and I developed it. And uh, today also the same thing, you know, if, I, if you see the newspaper, it's still there. Yeah. So I thought I should uh, bring that character yeah. now. And according to today's trend, yeah. you know, uh, the social media trend, so naturally I have to write according to uh, today's trend and today's uh, youngsters, what they think and how they receive a film. And no, in, in that angle only I wrote the script. But sir, you know, uh, this is also your collaboration after 28 years with Kamal sir. Of course, you were discussing, I think, Endiran Robo with him in 99, if I'm not wrong. It has taken 28 years for you to reunite. How has Kamal sir changed as a person and an actor? 
he has not changed like uh, he was learning a lot see already is uh, is like a an university of uh, cinema he learned and he keep learning and today also i am seeing him all the time you know when the shot is not there he is in the internet looking for new things and what is happening you know around the world you no know? he was constantly on that and he is updating him and his uh, acting is very updated that that's what i'm seeing like i'm wondering how he is there for such a long period because he keep growing and he keep uh, himself updated and even you as a director keep yourself updated with everything that's happening around yeah of course i have to because you know the main thing you no know, like before doing a movie i am also an audience of today so i have to write everything in my mind you no know? acha you know uh, this is one uh, tweet that i saw yesterday uh, senapati was born in hindustan you have shown senapati was born in 1918 that's that's when and now we are in 2024 he is 106 years old how did i think it has it is the first time in indian cinema where your protagonist is 100 year old how did that is that the thought which excited you the most because you are known to think out of the box for all your films see when i'm doing the first part i have no idea that i'll be doing a sequel in that time you no know, according to that script what details i have to yeah. give because he's a freedom fighter to go back and which year he yeah. would have born like that and all i did yeah. that but i didn't expect that i'll be doing the sequel and it took so long and uh, you know even uh, we started the movie by 2019 yeah. after starting also it just took 6 years to complete yeah. so so what is coming in my mind is like years may pass but the superhero inside us is always the same and uh, he is a martial art uh, master yeah. see generally martial arts master means um, they'll be very disciplined and they keep on practicing the martial arts and uh, they'll be doing yoga meditation also uh, there is an example in china and um, Lucy Gion a martial arts master in the age of 120 also he keeps practicing and he kicks and he flies and kicks and all like so there is exemptions and examples you no know, very rarely like even after years 100 years also they can do because as i told you before is a martial arts master and doing yoga and meditation and his food habits like only one time they will eat food and all boiled uh, vegetables and uh, boiled meat very disciplined so if you are very disciplined it is possible there are examples are there but so you know if if we dissect your filmography over the years from hindustani to nayak to aparichit to shivaji even robo and 2.0 and i everyone is every film is common man's anger against a social issue how do you get these thought has there been an instance which you know triggers this uh, vigilante vibe in the film for you see i am doing different kind of films yeah. <laughs> but you are highlighting only these kind of film because i am doing love subjects also like yeah. um, um kadalan was dubbed uh, as some say mukabla yes. and i did jeans i did boys so i want to do different kind of films i don't want to slaughtered uh, like uh, yeah in certain genre only and uh, when i come for this kind of social uh, uh, subjects uh, i treat myself as a common man not treating i am common man like you no know, uh, everyone what do they have in their mind you no know? that's also there in my mind based on that only i am writing the script and so you said indian started uh, hindustan started in 2019 it has been 5 years a journey of 5 years of ups and downs a lot of things happened pandemic i think uh, in such times how easy or difficult is it for you to you know be positive to bring the film on the big screen and how important is the producer support in such scenario in this case like basically see i am very passionate about uh, uh, making films and we started no uh, uh these obstacles are unexpected pandemic unexpected and uh, the passion for the movie this movie no even the producer also no like it's very passionate so kamal sir is so passionate and there's lot of efforts and money went into this uh so everybody want to complete it 
the whole crew you know so that is so even though it took some time somehow we managed to complete it yeah but you know like in hindustani became a pan indian film much before the term pan india even existed it is among the first film which did so well in uh, hindi as well and ever since then all your films have resonated with the audience in in the hindi market like they are cults shivaji or nayak or aparichit robo 2.0 everything when when you taste success at a national level is your mind conditioned to think in a way that your films are big and appeal to all the audience or do you stick to the story that you want to make and it automatically becomes uh, a national sensation so good question um, i never uh, write a script that it should appeal for the whole country and all uh, that nayak tamil version i produced yeah. i produced and uh, i felt it's more of uh, very deep south nativity and all i don't want to dub it okay. i would have made some money by dubbing it but i felt uh, i should not do that and uh, when the producer interested to remake in hindi i did it like the main thing is if most of my films is in the common man uh, point of view so when a movie connects with the whole country and it becomes a what the word term you are giving pan india no? so that's it but uh, have you planned you know this is a i think fan favorite question is there any other sequel of your fr- films that you want to make maybe a shivaji or a nayak or something see everything no uh, even audience want to uh, me to do that uh, aparichit to yes. and shivaji to okay. and nayak to and all uh, sometimes even i feel like i should do that but as i told you just for the sake of doing a sequel i don't want to do the subject should no it, it should hit me and it should uh, fragment slowly and it should grow and uh, if it happens in my mind definitely i'll do but i'm not sure right now i have no idea about uh, any other sequel of my film and so you know uh, you have inspired a generation of directors all across especially you know if you look at the breed of directors in in uh, who are making tamil films right now be it atli lokesh uh, ar murgudas everyone has been inspired by your school of film making how does that feel when you know so many directors look up to your work and how do you view this newer breed of directors who are making commercial films yeah i appreciate them um, see as i told everyone you know like from common man point of view they are doing when they do in the from the common man point of view you may think that it's like uh, they are inspired from me maybe inspired or not but i think uh, they also want to tell something and all yeah. i appreciate that new breed of directors coming with uh, different ideas and all like and uh, is there any film of theirs that you like the most and you were like wow i'm i i didn't expect it to unfold in this way in the recent ones i mean some other movie yeah some other film sorry this 4 <laughs> 5 months i was totally yeah. into this post production of this movie and i am at the same time doing other movie also but right. unknown game changer so I, i get very less time to see other movies and uh, whenever i see uh, i used to tweet about that movie yeah. like right. and so you know uh, correct me if i am wrong but i Le- recently like the 12th fail right oh, 12th fail yes yeah yes. that was a very good movie i enjoyed it oh, yeah yeah i think surprises like that are needed every year so yes but so correct me if i am wrong uh, i think in 2022 when vikram released it changed the fortune for a lot of things and you know put indian to also on the fast track mode when you watched vikram what was your reaction seeing kamal sir presented in that way because you know kamal sir said that only a fanboy like lokesh is a kamal sir fanboy yes confessed it can present him in this way so what was your reaction over there really i enjoy that movie because uh, i was thinking like because i saw vikram part 1 1986 and uh, how lokesh no um made a script you know keeping that yeah. part one and you know how kamal sir and uh, lokesh blended and the output is amazing like i enjoyed it i, I tweeted about that yes. movie also yes. and sir i don't know how many people over here are aware but the story of hindustani doesn't end at part 2 there is hindustani 3 as well and i believe we have shot 85 to 90% of hindustani 3 already so yeah. could you tell us something on on that yeah see uh, 
part 1 it was happening in one state even though it's happening in one state the length of the movie is 3 hour 20 minutes part 1 and this story is spreading all over the country like to the all other states also so naturally the story is little big so uh, when i was editing like it was uh, very uh, very lengthy and i want to trim it yeah. after a certain length i couldn't cut that scene because all the scenes are working from my point of view because every scene is interesting uh, there is a feel there is a soul in each and every scene if i cut more uh, it will lose its life so for the sake of just to make it in one part if i compress everything so i i'm afraid that all the soul will go out and just it will be a uh, fat 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 a fast moving film yeah. but without any soul um so at the same time i am able to see there is a possibility of two parts and uh, so it evolved like that so i i i, I am able to see uh, it, a complete film like in two parts like yeah. with a good start and good elevation and a climactic moment yeah. and then there is an ending but no end yeah. <laughs> okay so it evolved like that as a two parts but indian hindustani 3 will also release in a very quick span now or you plan to keep yeah i um i'm planning to release in within 6 months of this release and i don't know like there are other factors also if everything comes you know a fall in place yeah. so it will release in 6 months wow looking forward to that mm-hmm. and um, and so you know i believe a lot has been kept we have seen the trailer but a lot has been kept under wraps like since the trailer has come out so many theories are floating around on the social media and i believe you have a very strong flashback portion where you are even trying to dh kamal sir to the 1900s could you tell us something on on that track and what can fans expect in terms of surprises yeah that kind of flashback is there in part 3 yeah the period portion a solid period portion is in part 3 and as you told uh, a very emotional portion is there in part 2 also as you mentioned like it's not a flashback yeah. but like all my flashbacks there is a very powerful very deep you know very strong and uh, portion no in this part 2 also for me as an audience the thing that i love the most about your film is the kind of elevation that you give to the characters in all the films how do you think of those scenes be it the laka 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 part in shivaji or uh, there's so much in anyan that is aparichit there's so much in 2.0 especially the part where uh, chitti is introduced as the bad guy with uh, with uh, danny sir mm. how do you think of those moments and what's your thought in giving these elevation scenes see i i never give f- for the sake of elevation because everything comes from the story from the story the character evolves so to establish that character you no know, little decorations you no know, like yeah. i'll be giving uh, not going overboard because uh, the character should deserve that kind of elevations so in a limit only i'm doing <laughs> can we expect something like that in indian as well a, a trait which will stay for a long time yeah, there are a lot of things yeah. there in this movie uh, and now right now i'm not able to point out i think you can make out the, the trailer. Uh, trailer yeah right. and so you know uh, you mentioned that you have been shooting for game changer as well and that's a film which on social media every ramcharan fan wants to know what's what's happening with that film When sorry can- to interrupt uh, regarding this movie you asked something yeah. like the art of varma varma is a very ancient art it was written by a saint agastyar called agastyar so again i'm bringing after so many years uh, i'm going in more detail for the art of varma so that will be very interesting in this movie i believe in in two in, in two. two see uh, it's like a part one is a basic varma things i yeah. brought in i'm i'm going in more detail okay. and uh, more intense uh, varma art and all that, that you can see in this part two so i was asking what's happening with game changer that's a film which is again awaited and uh, by by the globe and it's ramcharan after rrr so yeah it's almost uh, finished uh, just another 
10 15 days shoot so as soon as it release i'll be finishing that movie and how was it to work with ram charan that's your first i think that's the first time you're working with a younger lot of actor from this generation no um, i worked with um, uh, uh, the, the like prabhu deva i worked with i'm uh, saying this Prashan. generation the new generation yeah 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 it, it's it's a different and it's very interesting and uh, i'm enjoying that like and so you know uh, before we move on to the fan questions uh, there are last couple of questions from my end i remember during 2.0 promotions when i met you you had spoken about the urge to make an underwater monster film is that still on your mind i don't know from where it <laughs> came <laughs> i don't have any underwater uh, subject i don't it's know all over the internet and uh, that's what i'm wondering like uh, uh, it's not i have one science fiction subject there will be one or two scenes underwater scene that's all there is no a uh, complete underwater subject from where it brewed i don't know like Can good yeah. <laughs> i'm able to clear it now <laughs> but uh, and and sir you you had also announced the film with ranveer singh that's what's the update on that like actually we plan to do that uh, aparichit in hindi but after that uh, announcement there are a lot of movies coming you know bigger and bigger movies so our producer want me to do something bigger than aparichit <laughs> so right now it's on hold so after the release you no know, the these two films will uh, de- decide you no know, and uh, how to take it forward and one last question sir so uh, there is one collaboration which the world will be waiting to happen that is yours and sharukh sir's because you know you wanted to make endiran that is robo with him at one point of time is there any intent is there any conversation you keep meeting him i i think so so can we expect something over there because even social media every time there is something they are like we want shankar sir and sharukh sir to work together so yeah uh, actually after the robo also i met once or twice for some, some other film but it didn't uh, things uh, didn't fall in place um any time no if some script um, which comes in my mind which is suitable for uh, srk sir definitely i'll do that and so now we have taken questions from the fans they have a lot of things to ask to you so we have taken some chits you can i'll i'll pick it okay. yeah. anirudh gaikwad first of all thank you for coming here and it's really i'm feeling blessed now that you yeah so my question is what kind of revolution you wanted to bring in the film industry in next decade in all aspects of filmmaking yeah there are a lot of ideas i am uh, having two three ideas one is a historical film and other one is something like uh, james bond film like not james bond <laughs> to categorize it i am using that term and one science fiction is also there like uh, 2012 so these are all my plans definitely all are very uh, high budget not because i want to do something <laughs> you know in big budgets all the script demanding such a big budget and lot of vfx and all so definitely those films will bring the technology what it demands and uh, definitely i'll going through all the new technology which it requires and i will use that So yes congratulations for this Hindustani too and I really hope a very huge success for this film. Thank you very much. Ankit Bose, hi Shankar sir, big fan. I'm feeling extremely overwhelmed you know just by your presence here. Thank you Himesh uh, for the opportunity. Thank you. Uh, sir you have gifted us uh, four iconic you know individuals Senapati, Aparichit, Shivaji and our very own ek din ka mukhyamantri anil kapoor also okay. in nayak and all four of them have been you know anti establishment taking on the wrong so have you ever had this wild thought of you know creating your own multiverse you know where senapati walks into an aparichit you know some day or you know a cm walks into a senapati some day because you know it is the world you know where one is making a cop universe spy universe loki verse in the south so you have got four iconic individuals you know who could create 
you know, havoc at the box office all over all over the globe, not even pan India. I mean, so just the thought, you know, just wanted to know your thought on that. Yeah, good question. <laughs> when I was doing uh, uh, robot in two thousand eight. I came up with the idea of bringing uh, Hindustani, Shivaji, and Ek Din Ka Mukhya Mantri <laughs> together in a script. First, I throw the idea to my assistants. They're looking at me a, <laughs> <laughs> like that. There is no reaction. They are looking at me like, what is talking like bringing all those characters together? And I told two other main technicians also. They are also very gently give a smile, and they move out, moved away. <laughs> you won't believe. After two, three years, I think the Avengers came. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so see, all filmmakers, what I believe, if have some new thought, just go and do it. <laughs> Otherwise, other some other will do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, because uh, all over the world, you no, know, everybody is coming with new ideas and all. Whoever does the first will take the credit. <laughs> so that time, it was in my mind. If they would have encouraged me, uh, yes, sir, it's a good idea. I would have done a script that time. So nobody encouraged me. <laughs> so, so I dropped that idea. You know, and uh, right now, I don't have any script. You no, know, if I come across a theme like that, definitely I'll do that. How I wish that would have happened. It would have been a treat to watch on the big screen, the icons together. Yeah. I hope you make a film with Rajni sir and Kamal sir one day. I think if there's any director who makes it, it could be you. No, that's what I planned in 2.0. 2.0 was supposed to um, be done with Rajni sir and Kamal sir. Like in Akshay Kumar, I planned with Kamal sir. But that time he was busy and you no, know, uh, it didn't materialize. Okay, the next one, Yash Kholia. Hello, sir. F first of all, congratulations for Indian 2. Thank you. I'm waiting for it. And I have a question that since so many years and such an incredible journey, how does cinema feel now? Like, what's your perspective on it in the present day? Like, such a contrasting, like, patriotic films, sci-fi films are coming out in Indian cinema. Like, how are you feeling now? Yeah, when I entered, no... The same situation. I mean, technically we are advanced and uh, we are doing different uh, scripts now. And even today is the same. Like, there is scope for all kind of genres and all kind of subjects. There is scope. You can do anything. You can uh, do patriotic film. You can do the, something like uh, a family subject. If it is good, then it's own category any film will work even in future also it's going to be the same different type of films will come and all genres all subjects will survive if it is good in its own category thank you so much sir and we'll take last one uttam maheshwari hi sir welcome uh, you are the og master maverick director of indian cinema game changer of indian cinema when pan india films are tried on the box office or film ka naam hai hindustani title is indian 2 film is hindustani but everyone is saying sabse aage honge hindustani or hindustani film ka tandav globally machega because aapka naam hi shankar hai shankar hoga to tandav to machega and sir if we talk about your cinematic universe your all cinematic universe mostly have brilliance of technology and today is all the global cinema is changing with the different different trends even change is changing with the trends and global films of Indian cinema are going to be faced after AI. After two years, we are going to with AI and all. So what are the major challenges that we have to face uh, with comparison of the global uh, filmmakers like James Cameron, Christopher Nolan, Steven Spielberg and all? Because mostly they adopt our culture from Ramayana, Mahabharata and make of all kind of films and we are making original films. So what are the major changes or challenges we face? What I'm telling, whatever technology grows, that man's creation, man's imagination, no, it's completely unique and no AI can bring that. Okay, so I believe even, <laughs> even after years, um, 
man's imagine, imagination will survive and the, uh, and the technology will support it that's all even i start from the subject i don't start from the technology i don't start because uh, today uh, what are all the technologies there okay i should uh, use this technology i should use this technology like that i won't work first script what the script demands what kind of technology this script has demand i will go for that only not all stuff the director of hindustani and the senapati himself kamal sir also with us and i think the term legend has been invented for people like kamal sir an acting institution in himself and i can't believe actually that i have gotten the chance to speak to kamal sir and shankar sir today thank you so much sir thank you so much sir, sir for doing this i am overwhelmed and i don't know actually how to react but thank you thank you for being here thank you so much shankar sir for doing this and uh, before we leave i i i won't miss this opportunity to call kamal sir on the stage once like sir so how does it feel to be in mumbai with this crowd who is waiting for hindustani 2 and this combo um i don't know about their waiting but i always wait for such adoration so every time it surprises me and makes me happy thank you thank you very much and shankar sir we were speaking about kamal sir and how he is an institution in himself what do you have to say about now that sir is here what do you have to say about you know how he caught on to the graph of character 28 years later yeah see i have given um, more uh, difficult uh, in uh, in the form of uh, makeup and uh, all tough things i have given <laughs> but sir is you know like uh, it was easy to easy for me to see but how much he has gone internally through that and physically you know like it's great it's thank you correct thank you so much shankar sir it was a lovely conversation with you thank you for doing this yeah and can i have the opportunity to have a photo with both of you which i'll frame in my room for life sure.